Hi everybody, thank you very much for coming. Um, I think you know that today I made a change in my office and I have appointed Dan Doyle to serve as my new Chief of Staff. But the, the news, the good news in that, is tempered certainly by the circumstances that have led to the need to make such a change in my office. And as I know all of you can appreciate, I am limited in what I can say about personnel matters by the privacy laws that bind every employer in British Columbia. But what I can tell you is this, is that the Premier's office was made aware of an incident of concern that occurred about two weeks ago. A review immediately began, and, uh, that, and that review followed the processes that are set out and laid down by BC's Public Service Agency, followed them to the letter. After that work was done, I made a decision and I accepted the resignation of my Chief of Staff. I know you'll have many questions and I'm happy to answer them as best I can, but uh, you'll also know that legally and out of respect for individuals' personal privacy, I won't be able to provide details of the incident beyond that which I have just shared. These are laws that bind every employer in the province and I will be respecting those today. Right. Just to clarify, did you ask him to resign or did he, he offer? He, um, I, I, he and I agreed that he should resign. Who's that and, you uh, I, you know, it was, I, it was, uh, I certainly, when I sat down with Ken, it was, um, I knew that he would have to resign. And he agreed that that was the right course to take. Not specific to the incident itself, but there have been rumors around the legislature for months about his behavior involving staffers. Can you comment about that? No, I can't. Um, I can't. Uh, I can't comment on any of that. These are personnel matters, as I'm sure you can appreciate. I can't give you any details of, of what happened that that might compromise personal privacy. I mean, as I said, every employer in the province is bound by the same law. I'm an employer, and I can't break that law. I'm uh, just going to ask this very in very blunt manner. Did Mr. Rosenkool grow up a woman? I cannot answer any of the questions that you might have about uh, about what gave rise to this, about the incident itself. I just can't do it. All right, thanks, folks. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much, Shane.